Hello, my friends. I am so glad you are back with us. Hopefully, some of you have joined me before. If you have, please let Chanel know in the chat. We'd love to shout you out and let us know how many classes you've attended. I'm Elizabeth. Some of you might know me as Mrs. Barrick. I am a kindergarten teacher. I love teaching kids. I have the best time, especially teaching kids how to craft because I loved crafting when I was a little girl. So I'm super, super glad that you're joining me today. We are going to be making duct tape pencil pouches and funky birdie pencil toppers. So this is a super fun and silly class and we're gonna have a really good time. So you can, we really, really wanna see your finished product. So if you would please have your adult follow us on um, at Learn With Michaels, that's our account on Instagram. And then if they would follow me at La Cozy Casita, I, that's my handle on Instagram. I really, really want to see your finished product because you don't have to make exactly what I've made. You can change the colors and do lots of fun stuff. And several of you messaged me last time and I just loved seeing those. And then you can hashtag make it with Michaels and hashtag kids classes if your adult says it is okay and your adult does it for you. Okay, well, let's get into it and we're going to get our supplies. Oh, and go ahead and take a picture of this if that's better. I'll leave it on there for one second. And I think Chanel will also put it in the chat as well. Okay. Also, I just want to, sorry, really quick before you start, um, just, just so there's no confusion, we do have the Q&A for questions. I haven't received any yet. So I just want to make sure that um, you're not trying to use the chat. You're just, you're going to use Q&A instead. Thank you so much for that reminder. Thank you. Thank you. Q&A. Okay, so we, I'm going to show you, we're going to start first with gathering our supplies for our duct tape pencil pouches. And then we are going to go in to the items that we'll need for our pencil toppers. Okay, so for the pencil pouches, you are going to need some plastic bags. Let's move this out of the way. So you can use any type, any size plastic bags that you like. I prefer the bags that have the zipper top on them, just because that'll be easier for you to get in and out of. But you can certainly use the ones that do not have the zip top. And actually, I'm going to be using this one today. But I'm going to show you how they kind of end up. So you will see that we're essentially just going to cut them. So this is a, a freezer bag and we're just gonna cut it. Okay, we're not gonna do that yet. Hold off on that. Um, I'm just going to have you gather your materials first, okay? So we won't be able to make all three of the bags, but I'll definitely, we'll definitely get one done, maybe two depending on timing. But like I said, um, in my last class, once I teach you the technique and the skill, you'll be able to make many of these. So some of these are really great for just like it says, just putting your pencils and markers inside. But then some you might like to use like the little snack bags and you can put your lunch money or snack money or even take it to the school store. Of course, these are food safe on the inside. So you can even put some crackers in there, whatever you think. So you're also going to need scissors. And I'm using my scissors from my Creatology craft case. If you have other scissors on hand, that is totally fine too. I'm just gonna pull those out right now. Here they are right here, just these little red scissors. And then of course, you are going to need duct tape. Would you guys tell Chanel what does your duct tape look like? So I have solid blue. You don't need all these. I just use different types. You, you can just use one. If you just have the plain gray one, you can use that one too. Um, I've got a yellow, like a highlighter yellow. I have this fun one. It's like school. It's, it's got little puzzles on it. It's kind of schoolish. I think that's the one that looks like this. 
And then this is the one I'm going to be using today. It's like cosmic. It's kind of cool. So that is what you're going to need for the duct tape pencil pouches. Okay. So we will start with that first and then we'll gather our other supplies. Well, actually, let's go ahead and gather our supplies just in case you have to run, get up and to go get something. Okay. So I'll go ahead and tell you what those are. So let me just set this aside and make room for my craft case. If you don't have the craft case, it's okay. You might just have the stuff hanging around. So like I said, this is what it looks like. This is how you can find it at Michael's with this just wrapped around. It's just a blue box. It has lots of fun stuff for crafting. I'll show it to you. It's like a little briefcase. I love it. There's so many cool things inside. So this is a really cool book that shows you lots and lots of craft projects that you can do with the things that you find inside this case. And then you can add on some, like maybe add a paper towel or a toilet paper roll for certain things. Like this is a little toilet paper roll. So you are going to find some, some of you know them as chenille stems, some of you know them as pipe cleaners. So we're gonna need at least two pipe cleaners for the little birdie bodies, okay? So I chose green and blue the first time around, but I'm gonna change those colors this time around. You choose whatever you like, okay? So I'm going to choose a purple, and I'm going to choose, how about a, I really like this blue color. I haven't done pink yet either or red. Okay, I'll do red. So I'm going to choose a purple and a red. Again, you choose what you like, whatever you want to do, whatever you think is fun. So I'm pulling two of those out and I'm going to put this back away in my kit. I don't want to lose any of my pieces. You'll see in here there's some sparkly ones you could use on another day if you wanted. There's some of these that are like a little bumpy. That would make for a very funny pencil topper. I would recommend just using these these first time this first time around while we're getting started, and then you'll know how to make them, and then you can continue making them with the other chenille stems. Okay, and then right here we have a stack of foam, and this is what we're going to use for the birdie beak. See the birdie beak right there. If you don't have these. You could also use um, construction paper or a piece of paper and color it orange. Or if you want the beak to be yellow, you could do that. We have a bunch of these. You could also just cut off part of the star for the beak, with the little triangle, whatever you want. If you don't want a beak, beak at all, you don't have to use a beak. Oh, here's one that's just a triangle. I may have used that. I, well, I used a smaller version of that. For, so you could give them a really big beak. That would be funny. And these are sticky. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's funny. So here are my beaks. I'm going to go ahead and use that little guy too, the little triangle one. So this one's sticky. This one I'll have to add glue to it. So I'm setting that aside, putting this guy back. And then. We need our feathers. You can choose any feather that you want. I'm just gonna leave this in the package because sometimes these can be a little messy. So I'm gonna leave them in the package until it's time, but I'm gonna set it aside with all of my other stuff. And then googly eyes, just little wiggle eyes. There's lots of sizes in here. So I'm gonna set these aside too, just so that they stay together, okay? And then in your kit, you have, glue that you can use. I have the same, I think it's the same glue from Creatology. It's the glitter and sequin glue. I'm just going to use that just because that's what I'm used to using and I've got a big bottle of it, so I'm going to use it. But if you just have this or regular white household glue, you can use that as well. And of course, scissors. I think that's it for this kit. Let me make sure I got everything. Pipe cleaners, Google eyes, foam. And, oh, the glue, 
scissors and one thing, and you don't have to have this, but I like to just have a little bit of tape for the back just to give a little more security. But again, you don't have to have tape if you don't have it. Okay. All right. So I am going to move this out of the way so I have room and you can do the same. And then I just want to know if anybody has mentioned anything yet, Chanel, if they have joined our class before while we're waiting for some of our friends to get some supplies. Um, we haven't had any, we haven't had any, anyone say if they've joined the last class or not, um, but we did get a couple answers for the duct tape. Bennett says he has pink, teal, and neon yellow, and Chandler has red, yellow, and blue. Ooh, those are going to look cool. Bennett, ha Bennett has just been joining my class, haven't you, Bennett? And I don't know if um, Chandler has, I don't know if that's Bennett's brother, but um, that's very exciting. Okay, so we are moving on to our duct tape, okay? So I am going to be using this one, and I purposefully did not get it started just so I could show you how to get it started. So. If you just kind of feel around your tape, you're going to feel a groove. There's a groove right here. Can you see that? And that's where you're going to start it. It's super sticky. So I'm just going to kind of pull. I'm not pulling it all open yet, but I'm just getting it started for when it's time. Just like that. So I just moved my hand all the way across and got it ready. If you are a younger kiddo, you can ask for help if you're having a hard time getting this off. So I'll give you a little, a little bit of time to get that started, okay? All right, so in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and grab our bag. Okay. So in kindergarten, this is what, what you like to say. If it's like this, it's like a hamburger. You know how a hamburger is stacked up? You've got your bun and your meat and your toppings and it's big, thick, yummy burger. But then if you put it to the side, it's a hot dog. You know how hot dogs are long and skinny. So you're going to put your bag to the side like a hot dog, okay? So that your stripes are going up and down this way. It's on my left side. Even if yours are on your right side, it's okay. But if you cut with your right hand, if you write with your right hand, you're gonna want this on the opposite side that you write with, okay? So if you write with your right hand, you want these stripes and you want the opening on your left side. And the reason why you want that is because you need your hands cut. So have that. Sure is frozen. Is it, does it look okay? Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, this, you're good now. Sorry. Okay, good. That's okay. Okay, so this is where you are going to decide how long you want, how deep you want to make your bag. Okay, so if you want it to be just a really skinny bag, you might cut over on way over here closer to the opening this is more of a skinnier one okay or you can if you want it a little deeper to fit more you could cut at the halfway mark okay so that's what we're that's what I'm going to help you do so sometimes what I like to do is I just kind of like to just, you can just kind of crease it a little bit if you want to go the halfway mark, just so you're just going to make your own like line here. So you're just matching these two corners with these two corners and that's your halfway mark. Okay. Just like you do a piece of paper. Can you see my line? So I'm going to show you again for our, for our younger kids, because we might have some kindergartners or first graders on here. You're gonna take these two corners and you're gonna match them all the way over here to these two corners. So you're gonna keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, stop. 
So this corner matches this guy, but if this corner doesn't match, guess what? You're gonna have a crooked pencil pouch. And if you want a crooked pencil pouch, hey, I think that's gonna be the most unique pencil pouch there ever was. And that's okay if it's crooked. But if you want it to be straight, match your corners. Take your thumb and just crease it. That's gonna give you a line without even having to draw a line. Do you see it? Okay, so now we're ready to cut, okay? So whichever hand you write with is the hand you're gonna be cutting with, okay? And if you've used your scissors a lot before, it's probably gonna be better to cut right here near the opening of the scissors instead of at the edge. Because sometimes people just like to cut right here on the very tip using the tips of your scissors and those become dull and they're not as sharp where if you're cutting here towards the opening, they're a lot sharper, okay? So I'm gonna put my scissors in all the way, open, 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 and I'm gonna cut. Now, if your bag does not cut, mine did cut because I have new scissors, but if your bag just kind of folds over, just kind of make sure that your, your bag is nice and tight, okay? So kind of just hold it like this if you can, but watch out for your fingers. You can go like this with your thumb and your finger just to make it nice and tight. But if you're not having any trouble in that way, you can just use your scissors and just open, close, open, close. I'm just running my scissors all the way down to the end. Just like that. Okay. Before you go to the next step, um, I just want to let you know, we did get a couple answers. Um, Presley said, this is my first class with you. Bennett says he was in the last two classes, and Jay said he was in the last class. Ooh, I'm so glad. Well, welcome. Welcome to our new friends. And Bennett's mom showed me her pictures and of her crafts, and she had some really amazing crafts. I love seeing your finished product. And Bennett's mom showed me her craft room. It was so cool. Okay, so here we go. We got our duct tape. Thank you for sharing, Chanel. Okay, so this is like super strong. So you have to really pull at it, okay? And my little guys might need a little help and ask, you can ask your adult helpers, okay? You're only going to pull it as long as your bag is. Let me scooch it over just in case you can't see. You're gonna make it just a touch longer now. This is where you have to be careful. Don't get so close to your bag that your bag is like your tape is almost like a magnet and it just goes whoop and sucks right into that tape. Just kind of hold it up, give yourself some space there and just kind of eyeball. I can tell that I need more, okay? I'm just a tiny bit over and I wanna be a little more over about a half an inch on each side, a quarter, okay? So just like that. And now I'm going to turn my duct tape around. And I am gonna hold the duct tape tight. I'm gonna kind of pull it without tearing it. Because just like I was telling you about our bag and the scissors, you wanna make sure it's nice and taut. That word is taut. You want it nice and tight kind of. So now I'm going to use my scissors and just give a little cut, okay? All right, it's very sticky, so you do have to be careful. Now, I am going to set, this is going to be the most directions that I give you, I think, for this, okay? You are going to put the duct tape halfway on your bag, not all the way, okay? You're going to put it halfway because we're going to wrap it. We're going to sandwich it, no pun intended. We're going to sandwich it around the bag. Okay, so just half of the bag, and it doesn't have to be exact, just kind of, okay? And then gently, nice, and I pulled that tape, I pulled it so I didn't have wrinkles, and I just gently kind of push it down on the bag, not your table. Don't push the tape on your table, just your bag, just, just gently. You're going to have a chance to do it more in a minute and then turn it around. So I'm gonna lower my camera so you can see. Do you see? 
So it's just kind of halfway. It's not perfect and that's okay. All right, so now I'm going to fold my ends up here. Do you see whatever came over? I'm just going to fold it up. Now be careful not to fold your like just the part that's coming past the bag. So it's going to be probably a T fold, just like that. And then I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing on this side. Teeny tiny fold. And if it doesn't stick, well, guess what? We're working with tape. So you get to go back over it if you need to. It's totally fine. All right. And that's not sticking, but guess what? I'm going to fold that over. So it's going to be totally fine, you guys. And hey, you've got a whole roll of duct tape to play with. So yay you. All right, so now, again, this is the hardest part of the whole class and you're doing it right now and you're doing a great job. Now I'm just going to fold this up, okay? So I'm just closing it because remember, we cut the bottom of our bag. So if you don't do that, it's gonna fall out. Your stuff is gonna fall out. So you gotta seal it off. So fold it up. And just gently, I like to start from the middle, just kind of gently. If you get wrinkles, it's no big deal. Don't worry. Okay. So there we go. That's our very first step. Okay. Now, all we're going to do is work, work, work till we get to the top. Okay. Or you could work, work, work till you get to the bottom. It doesn't matter. I think I'm going to work, work, work and get to the bottom just so I can give a nice finish at the end here, okay? So we're gonna start at the top. I sealed some air in there. I'm gonna let some of that air out. Did you guys get an air bubble? Whoop, there we go. Okay, so now we're doing it again. You're gonna pull your tape. Let me come back up here so I'm not right on the camera. Okay, so you're gonna pull your tape long, just a little bit longer than your bag again. I'm gonna get rid of that guy. Okay, so there we go. It's a little bit longer. You know the next step. You're just gonna cut it. Move this guy out of the way so you don't actually accidentally tape him. This is gonna be the same basic step the whole time. So I'm making sure this is nice and taut, remember that word? And you're going to cut. And, okay, I'm gonna go this way this time so that I can finish over this, the part that I just started. So it all get nice straight lines. Okay, so here I go. I'm lining it up with that line there. There's no halfway point this time. I'm just putting the whole piece of duct tape and then gently, I'm barely pushing down and I'm moving it out. And now here I am in the middle again, I'm barely pushing down and moving it out. This is gonna help me so I don't get bubbles. Okay, turn it around and fold those guys over. See how much longer this one is than my last one? That's totally fine because it's gonna get hidden. Fold, fold. All right, are you guys getting the picture now? Ooh, this is gonna be pretty. I really like this pattern. It kind of looks like slime. Okay, here we go again. There we go, longer. I'm gonna cut, move this guy out of the way so I don't accidentally tape him. Nice and tight or taut and cut with my scissors. Let me get it back in the frame here. That way. Okay, it's the same side. I'm not flipping it over. I'm working on the same side. Okay, so now I think it's easier. I don't think it's as easy to line these up perfectly. I think it's easier to overlap. Then you don't have to worry about your super straight line. 
or making sure you've got everything covered. So overlapping means you're putting the tape over the last piece. Do you see that? So here I am. You don't want to, you can if you want. If you wanted to line it up just like this, you could, but it's a better bet to go over just a little bit. Okay. So there I'm gently setting it down. Okay. And then gently pressing it out. And again, if you get bubbles, don't worry about it. Okay, and then we're gonna fold this guy over. See, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna get covered. All right, now we go again. So it's really only three and a half, at least for this one, when we cut the bag at the halfway mark, it's really only taking three, strips, three and a half strips of tape. There we go. Move them out of the way. Don't accidentally get them stuck to your bag. Nice and tight. Watch out for your fingers. And cut all the way across. There we go. Okay, this is the last one for this side. And if, you, if you're kind of holding your tape and it gets twisted and you can't pull it apart, just grab yourself another piece of tape, it's okay. All right, in the middle. So I'm kind of like laying it like this a little bit. I know it's kind of hard to tell. And so I'm trying to just kind of let it hit in the middle first. That just helps getting the line, the bubbles out a little better. So smooth it out gently, gently. You don't have to push super hard. You can do that later. And then we're folding. And again, be careful not to fold your bag up too. You're just folding the tape over the bag. Just like that. And then turn it around. And do the same thing again. Okay, now we're gonna finish this guy. Sorry, I didn't know my cord was in the way. Okay. Elizabeth, I just want to let you know that it is um, also Blake and Theo's first class with you. Ooh, welcome. And then I do have a pop quiz for the participants. Oh, let's hear the pop quiz. How many days are left until you start school? <gasps> Who knows? Who knows how many days they have left until they start school? I have eight until I have to go back as a teacher. Let us know. Who knows? It's the pop quiz. Do you guys know what a pop quiz is? It means you didn't know there was going to be a test. That's what a pop quiz is. So write your We already answers. got one answer. Presley Ooh. says one month. Ooh, lucky, lucky. Okay, so I'm folding this over now. See how this side is finished? And you guys, you Chanel, please keep letting me know as they're telling us. Allie will stop anytime because I've given the main directions here. We're just, we're working now. So I can be stopped. See, I'm just kind of folding it over just like that. And if you have a pattern like this, it's kind of it's kind of nice because you can't really see, or especially if you have a solid pattern you really can't see where those folds are so if it bothers you just give it a, a tiny little cut and then fold it in that little space if you're a very advanced crafter or if it doesn't bother you don't worry and keep going. for Bennett and Chandler it is 20 days left Ooh, 20 days what you guys are gonna do I'm gonna soak in all this last minute summertime Go to the pool, go to the beach, or just hang out. Sometimes it's nice to just hang out. Crafts. Today, my son, his name is Lucas. We went to Michael's and he grabbed a lot of stuff to make kind of like a diorama. 
almost like a gnome gnome or fairy garden, but he has lizards and frogs and all kinds of stuff. So he's going to be working on some type of craft. So there's only so much TV you can watch in the summer, right, guys? It's good to learn a new skill. Okay, we're already on our, if you are not where I am, that's totally fine. Because remember, I gave you all the tools. You know exactly what to do now. We are going to move on in a little bit to our little birdie pencil toppers. And if you are not right on pace with me, we are going to post this class. Oops, why am I tearing this? Because I got distracted. We are going to post this class on YouTube. And you can find that probably tomorrow. They say 24 to 48 hours, but so far they've been on within 24 hours. So if, I'm not sure if you know what the class, what the YouTube channel is, you know, is it on uh, YouTube kids? I threw it in the chat already. Wonderful. There we go. I love this one. Ooh, a good one to add to my collection. So I made this one because this is the stingers, this is the school that I taught at last year. And so that's why I like to make this one with school colors. This one, I thought it was just fun, a fun, bright color. But this one I think is my favorite. And guess what else you can do with these? You can take a marker with your parents' help and um, write on this. So you can't use, you know, a water-based marker, but if you, your parents say it's okay, you could use a Sharpie and write your name. But please ask permission before you do that because that is permanent and does not come out or you can have them do it for you. So there we go. Ooh, I can't wait to see your guys. Okay, so we are going to move on. And again, if you're not ready and you just want to keep working, that's totally fine. And if you just want to watch me make my pencil toppers, you can do that. Or if you want to take a break because now you know what to do, you can set this aside and you can grab the supplies for our birdie pencil toppers. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, this is last year's pencil pouch. I am just upcycling it by covering it with duct tape and I didn't finish it purposefully to show you. So you can finish it, I can finish this later and then I can just grab a hole punch and I can punch holes or just use a pencil and then now this can go through my binder. Isn't that fun? So that's an option for you too. Okay, here we go. We are going on to our birdies. So silly, I love these guys. Just love silly things. Oh, I forgot to mention you need pencils, of course. Okay, so here we go. This is what we are going to do first. I'm just gonna grab one of my pencils one of my chenille stems. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist my stem around the pencil, okay? So you're gonna start with the end of your pipe cleaner on the pencil and you're gonna hold it with your opposite thumb, okay? You wanna hold it in place. You don't really want to start off this way where there's a lot of space left over because then you're going to have to wrap this and it won't go on as nicely as you might have wanted it to go on. So just kind of start at the end here, hold it. And you're just wrapping it around, okay? Just wrap it around. Some of you will be able to do this easy peasy lemon squeezy. Some of you, it's the first time, so that's why I'm teaching you. So you're just pulling it kind of tight. And now I'm gonna go back up. So look, I only wrapped it twice, but now I'm gonna come back up and wrap it around this guy so he doesn't unravel, okay? So push him down. See, it's almost like I made a little X. Do you see that? So I came over here and I'm just, See, if you don't hold it, it'll just keep wrapping around the pencil. Look at that. So you need to make sure that you hold on to the end with your other thumb 
or finger and then just wrap it around. I just kind of gave it an X. You can do whatever you want, that's fine. Okay, now just keep going down the pencil. And so instead of wrapping like this, I'm going closer so you can't see my pencil. But if you want, if you want your birdie to look like that, you can make it look like that. That's totally fine because it's your pencil. It's however you want to make it. And it's going to be amazing because you made it. Okay. See, we wrapped it. There we go. So you can decide where you want the face to go. If you want this writing on the pencil to be out, you can do that. Or you can just kind of turn it. So it's just the yellow here. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to grab my little mat, my little work mat, so I don't get glue on this other mat here. Okay. So we're going to grab our feathers. I think I'm going to grab a red feather. I'm going to make them like fraternal twins. So I'm going to wrap this guy and give him a purple feather. And I'm going to give this, wrap this guy in purple and give him a red feather. Okay. So do you see this little feather? Some of you might have big giant feathers and that'll be super cool. But I just have this little tiny guy. It's like our hair, right? Some of us have long hair. Some of us, some of us have short hair. I'm going to look what I did. You can move them all the way up to the top so your eraser is covered. But if you want a pencil where you can get to the eraser, you can leave it out and just put the feather in the back or on the side. But for these, they're just kind of for funsies, aren't they? So this can be your uh, pencil that you use when it doesn't matter what kind of mistakes you made. But don't use this on your math papers now because you're definitely going to need to erase for that. Okay, so see how this has a harder end? I'm just going to kind of tuck it in. But if you wrapped yours and did a super good job and got it super tight and you can't do that, it's okay. Just glue it. But if you just put it under one of the little pipe parts, it's just going to keep in place and you don't even have to glue it. Look at it. He's so funny. So your parents probably know about Fraggle Rock. It reminds me of Fraggle Rock. <laughs> so cute. You'll have to um, have them show you. That. Okay. And this guy's beaker. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put some eyes. You can choose if you want big eyes, little eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, you can just cut some out. You can use a bead if you want. You can use two beads. You can make them into like a cyclops. That means just one eye, whatever you want. Okay, so here's my glue. I like to use, I like to get glue started on a piece of paper first so I know how thick it's gonna come out and how quick it's gonna come out. So it just kind of gives me an idea. So if you've taken my classes before, you know what I like to say. A little dabble do ya. Don't put a lot of glue, just a little dabble do ya. So you can either put it on the back of your googly eye, or you can put a little dabble do ya right here on this guy, just right there. And I barely squeezed my bottle, barely, because I don't want a whole bunch to come out. And I'm going to set, whoop, there he goes down here and I'm just going to hold it for a second. Ooh, I kind of like him with one eye. <laughs> I'm going to leave him with one eye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These take the longest to dry, so I'm not going to touch them. Okay, now I'm going to put on my beak. He's that, I feel like because I gave him a big eye, I don't want to give them a giant beak. That's just my own personal preference. If you want to give yours a giant beak, then do it. This is the little foam triangle that I pulled out of the toolkit. I'm going to cut it. I'm just going to cut off the, just a tiny 
end. Just right here, just a tiny little end. Just the tip of the triangle. And I'm gonna peel off the end. Let's see if he'll stick. If he doesn't stick, I'll just add some glue. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the flat part, the long part of the triangle facing his nose and the tip of the triangle facing down because that's how I want his beak. Oh my goodness, he is funny. So silly, okay. There he is, beep, beep, beep. And now let's see, oh, we're doing good. I think we're gonna be able to make both of these guys. Okay, so remember I wanted fraternal twins. I want them to look similar, but not exactly alike. So this one, I'm gonna wrap around. And if you're still working on this one, don't worry. Or if you just wanna watch, you could just watch. So if you remember, we have to start with just the very end going around our pencil, wrap about two times and then come back up because we have to secure that end so he doesn't unravel. So come back up like a little X. And if you don't get an X, it's okay. Just do whatever you need to do to make sure he's tucked in. And then I'm just gonna keep wrapping around my pencil. Just like this. This reminds me of ketchup and mustard. All right. Can you tell I'm hungry? I haven't had my dinner yet. Ooh, and he looks long and skinny. Look. <laughs> so cute. Okay. So, what color feathers should I give them now if they're going to look alike but different? Purple. So, I'm grabbing my purple feather and turn it around and I'm just going to tuck it in. And if you can't tuck it in without bending your feather, remember you can just glue it. Sometimes it's tricky because he can kind of bend. And I'm just gonna separate that and kind of tuck them in. I got this one really tight. So I am, either, I'm gonna tape him or actually I'm gonna tape him just so you can see what I do. Just the tiniest bit of tape, just tiny, tiny hardly pull any off, teeny tiny. Or you can glue or you can tuck it in. E There's three options for you. But I'm gonna show you what I do when I tape it. Just the tiniest bit of tape. Do you see how tiny that is? And then I'm just gonna tape it across here, just like that. Okay, now turn around, move them up a little bit to cover that eraser. Now this guy, I'm going to give him two tiny eyes. I have another quick pop quiz for the, for the participants. Okay. Um, what do you guys plan on using your pouches for? Ooh. Who is going to use their pouches for other things besides pencils? Some, I gave you guys some ideas earlier. I said, School store money, snack money. You can take it to the ball fields, put your snack money in there. Highlighters, who has flare pens? I love using flare pens. What are you going to use your bags for? Two little dabs, there we go. All right, we have a couple answers already. Presley said beads. Um, Ooh, and good idea, Bennett and Presley. Chandler. Yeah, Bennett and Chandler said money and sandwiches at the beach. Ooh, cute. I need to see that picture. You have to send it to me. So cute. Good ideas, guys. Just full of ideas. Beads, that's a really good idea because sometimes you just think you're going to use all the beads and you get rid of the bag you needed. Now you have a cute bag to put your beads in. Okay, remember you have to hold these eyeballs down for about 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And if you need longer, go ahead and take longer. Cause see this guy went down really well and this guy looks like he's just barely hanging on. Oh my goodness, he's so cute though. Okay, we gotta give him a nose. 
So if you had a piece of paper like this, you can cut out, maybe we can give him, you can just cut off the end, the, the corner and give him a beak. See how I did that? All I did was I just took the corner and snipped it. Okay, I'm gonna give him a little double do ya right here. I'm gonna put his beak a little further down. Oh my goodness, he's my favorite. He is so cute. He looks like a little bit shy to me. Does he look shy to you guys? Or a little worried? I like how they have little personalities. Let me give his beak a trim. Okay, let's put him right there. So cute. Hold it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, and he didn't. Let me give him some more glue. It kind of soaked in. I didn't go fast enough. So let me give him a little more glue and stick it on there. There. Just let it sit on top. Those are so cute. Do you like my twins? <laughs> okay. So we're done with those guys. Let me get this out of the way. Those are so adorable. Please share with me. I have to see. Okay. And here's our little pencil pouch that we made. So we did one pencil pouch and two toppers. This time in here goes so fast. I just have so much fun. Okay. I'm going to get you started on one of these. I'm just going to show you the start so you can remember, and then it's going to be time to wrap up. Okay. So I'm going to grab the same color again. And this one, I'm not even going to cut. So I kind of want to show you that you can do it without cutting too. So here we go. Remember, make it longer than the bag. Okay. Make it just a touch longer than the bag. You don't need to put too much, too much extra. Move him out of the way. Because remember how I said it, the tape kind of acts like a magnet. It's not a magnet, but. Sometimes it can be a little staticky next to that bag and you don't want it to pull up. Now this, remember I said, this was the trickier, trickiest part of the whole class. It's where you have to put the tape halfway on the bag and halfway off, okay? So you're halfway on. Gently start in the middle with your fingers gently push out and then flip it around, see? And then we're halfway off. Then you're gonna put the ends in first. So you're folding your ends in. Remember not to fold your bag, just the tape. Just like this, this side. And then up it goes and just have the use the bag as your guide. You can't really see that line very well, I don't think. But I'm using that as my guide here. Okay, it's right here. And I'm just folding that up. See, I didn't go, I wasn't even close to being perfect on this one. And that's okay, because remember, it's going to get covered with tape. So then if there was an air bubble, I opened it and I let that air out. And then I came back here and I started from the top and I went down. Boop, 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 boop. And remember I folded each end. Everything that was um, hanging over, I folded it in and then I turned it around and then we finished on the side, remember? So you guys, you have got it. I've got you started on your next bag so you can make another size. And we are going to, I'm going to show you what you can look forward to for our next classes. Let me move this out of the way so you can see. Okay, so on August 17th, 
we're going to be making these fun little pencil. It's going to be a pencil. It's like, see how it kind of, does it remind you of a pencil a little bit? Like the green and the eraser and the, I wish they had a black bead here, but I thought you could probably draw in a little point there. But we're going to be using stacks. I did, this is my daughter Lena's name, and I did the Matthews school colors. You can do any school colors that you want. And then I just did a fun little bracelet. This one's not done with just some of the fun colors. So this is the kit from Michael. So this is a new, this is going to be a new method maybe for some of you because if you look, the beads have two holes, okay? So I'm teaching you a new method with how to tie them off. You see that? Okay, so that's going to be on the 17th. It's a back to school pencil stack. And then I did not grab my little apple mosaic. Let me grab it, it's just right here. And we are gonna be working on, because it's gonna be apple season here in the Carolinas. And so we are gonna be working on making apple mosaics. And you are, all you have to do is use that toolkit. Everything's in that craft case. Let me pull this up a little bit. It's almost everything. I think we need a little bit of paint. So it's just kind of a little, a mosaic is lo are lots of pieces put together. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to draw this apple and you're gonna color it. And then you're going to put on your mosaics and paint them and then just make a little sign if you wanted to make a fun little sign. I like how this green one turned out. So that one is going to be on August 22nd. And then I'm just gonna show you again, how you can find us. You can find um, us at Learn With Michaels. You can find me at La Cozy Casita. And you can hashtag Make It With Michaels, hashtag Kids Classes, okay? So, I hope you had a good time. We got a lot done. That timer goes so fast. That time flies for me. Let me see. There we go. So I hope you had a really good time. I always have a great time with you guys. And I hope that you will be able to join me on the 17th for our next class. Thank you guys so much. Please show me your pictures. It just brings me so much joy. Show me what you did. All right. Have a good night, you guys. Bye.